Using your laptop and smartphone to make better home recordings. With a laptop and a smartphone, you have access to three cameras. Laptop, front camera, and rear camera. The best one is your rear phone camera. How can you accurately point the rear phone camera when you can't see its screen? You use your laptop webcam to frame the shot and clamp your smartphone on the laptop screen. You can use a variety of things to clamp your phone, but I suggest using this clip. It ratchets closed and it's easy to keep it gentle. But why bother? Check out this comparison. As you go from the laptop webcam to the rear phone of the camera, you can see the audio and video are better. Hi, I'm Jerry Hollister and I'm a ceramic artist. I'm also a member of the Potter's Guild. So we're going to show you how to do this using Apple products, but it's the same idea if you use Windows and Android. Again, the idea is simple. You use the laptop webcam to frame the shot using QuickTime or Zoom, and you use the better camera on the back of your phone to record the actual video you'll use. In QuickTime Player, go to New Movie Recording, and then Enter Full Screen. Now you can see yourself to frame the shot. Set your phone up to record video and start recording. But remember, turn the phone horizontal before you start, and that's the direction it will record. Wrap the padding around the foam and the laptop and clamp it in place. Be careful when you clamp whatever you're using. You don't want to put too much pressure on those things and break the screens. While you're recording, look into the phone. Just before you start talking, <clears throat> Clear your throat, clap, or make some other noise. We'll use this later to trim the clip. Once you're done, release the phone and stop recording. Select your new recording to open it. Tap the edit icon and then start playback. Listen for your throat clearing or other cue noise. Then pause the video and move the trim marker to that spot. Continue playing and listen for the end of your recording. Pause playback, then slide the other trim marker to your end point. Save video as new clip. That way you can always go back if you've made a mistake. Check to make sure it's what you expect it to be. And you're all set. Now you can save your edited video back to your laptop and then post it to wherever you need it. You can use any kind of a clip or clamp, but I recommend the Irwin 1.5 inch Quick Grip because it's easy to be gentle with it. You can find it at most hardware stores for about 4 bucks. Padding can be anything around the house. Hot pad, napkin, that jar opener thingy that I used. Just be careful and don't over clamp. You don't want to damage your devices.